I'm going to show you how to knit the Zumi hat and cowl. Um, depending on which one you're using, you're going to use a 16 inch circular or a 24, and I'm going to show you the cast on right now. You can start with a slip knot, or you can start with a just draping it over the needle like this and doing a long tail cast on. You want to make sure to cast on nice and loosely, and you're going to cast on 48 stitches for the hat or 72 for the cowl. Okay, I'm ready to join in the round, and I want to make sure that my stitches are not twisted, so make sure that all those little pearl bumps are facing down, and join in the round. You could place a marker here to indicate the beginning of the round, but I usually just use the tail for the first few rounds. This little yarn tail right here will work as a marker. So bring the ends together and join. My first stitch is actually a purl, so I'm going to purl, and I always work the first stitch a little tightly just to make sure that there's no splaying right there. So I'm purling two, and then I'm going to knit one, and I'm going to wrap twice around the needle before drawing through and getting it off. So that's just going to give us a little extra length to make the elongated stitch that we need for the slip stitch ribbing stitch pattern. Purl two, and then knit one. If I'm a continental knitter, I'm going to do the same thing. So I purl twice. Knit this stitch, wrapping the yarn twice around the needle. Purl two. And knit one. So just continue that until you've reached the other side of the, of the round. I'm almost done with this round. I'm going to work my last double wrapped stitch, pull it through, purl, and end with a knit one. So I'm ready to work round two of the stitch pattern. The slip stitch ribbing has you purl two, and then when you get to that first wrap stitch, you slip with yarn and back slip the stitch and the extra wrap is just going to drop right off. So that stitch is going to look a lot larger than the other knit stitch that you have, which is right here. This is a normal one, so you've only wrapped once, so you're knitting that as normal. And then purling. And slip this, drop the extra wrap, and pull it. What that does is when you slip them for the next couple of rounds, they're going to have enough yarn to not pull up the fabric and distort it, and it just creates this really dramatic giant looped stitch that looks kind of like a chain link. Really nice in this big bulky zoomy. Alright, this has magically changed color, and I'm going to show you um, how to finish the hat. And basically what you do is you do a three needle bind off. You just make sure that your stitches are evenly split over two needles. If you have a, a circular, you can pinch and pull out the extra cable, sort of like a magic loop. And I'm going to bind off in pattern. I've just finished working row four of the pattern, so I have the extra slip stitch here, the longer one, and I'm just going to knit those on this round, not doing that extra wrap. So I'm binding off basically in a rib. So to, to work the three needle bind off, you hold the needle tips parallel like this, and you have a spare needle. It doesn't really matter what size it is, but it, can be, it should be close to the size of what you're working with. Um, so I'm going to purl this first stitch, going through the back needle and then the front needle, Curling those one at a time and sort of at the same time and slipping them off. I know that doesn't make much sense, but so that's one. Got it off the needle. Now the next stitch is a purl, so I'm going to actually come in through the back on the back needle and go towards the front, purl that stitch, the front one, and then the back one. You can kind of do it in one fell swoop, but if you're just doing this for the first time, you might want to do them separately. Then I'm going to bind these stitches off in the normal manner. So I have the back stitch coming up and over the first stitch, just sort of leapfrogging over it. Then I have my elongated stitch. I'm going to knit that, but I'm not wrapping twice this time. I'm just knitting it as normal. The back stitch and the front one, both stitches off the needle, and then I'm going to leapfrog the back stitch over the front. You want to make sure that you do this rather loosely, especially if you're working the cowl. You don't want this to pull. For the hat, it doesn't matter as much, but just try to work these at an even tension, not pulling too tightly. 
Keep it neat, but don't pull too tight. So just continue until you've bound off all the stitches this way. Remembering to work in pattern, it just keeps it looking neater. I'm going to bind off my last few stitches and the last is a knit so I'm knitting these together and pulling up a big loop like this snipping the yarn you only need about I would say you don't really even need this much just about 12 inches now that my stitches are all bound off and I have a tail here, I'm going to bring it over to the opposite side. I'm going to pinch these two ends together and I'm going to pull this yarn through this corner to fasten the hat together. And this is optional. You can wear it just like this. It'll look like little cat ears while you're wearing it. It's kind of cute. Or you can make it into a hat. You can thread this on a tapestry needle or you can use a crochet hook to pull the yarn through. And you just want to do that several times to Make sure that they're attached. When you feel confident that it's secure, you can weave in the rest of your yarn end. You can put a tassel or pom-pom here, or you can wear it just like so. It basically folds to the back like that and looks like a little hunter's cap. Um, you just want to make sure that your hat is tall enough to fit over your head because this does take a bit of fabric. So, But it makes it nice. You don't have to do any shaping. It's nice and easy. So there you go. That's your finished hat. If you don't like the way this looks fastened on the outside, it sort of makes a little heart when you're wearing, which is kind of cute. You can actually fasten it on the inside. You just want to turn your hat inside out before you sew those ends together and it creates a little bulk on the inside of the hat, but if you've knit it tall enough, it's going to be fine. So this is my finished hat, and I still have plenty of yarn left over to knit. Uh, I can do a pom-pom, I can do a tassel. If you had two colors, you could actually switch with a friend and then put a little stripe in or cast on with a different color and trade. That would be really fun. If you're knitting the cowl, you just cast on more stitches and you knit until you're almost out of yarn, making sure you leave enough for your bind off. And you wanna make sure that your bind off is nice and loose and make sure to bind off in pattern. Here we have a bind off that's done a little bit too firmly, so it draws in quite a bit more. It's still really nice, it's just knit to a tighter gauge with a tighter bind off so it fits more close to the neck. Um, it's up to you what you'd like to do and have fun!